once, uh, once we start the liftoff uh, and the, uh, the vehicle clears the tower, uh, we'll start a roll program uh, that will bring the Orion capsule to a heads down position, much like we did in, sh in shuttle. Uh, we'll, uh, about a minute in to the, to the flight, uh, we'll experience our maximum dynamic pressure, and so the, uh, the four core stage engines will throttle down for that, uh, that period. Uh, throttle back up, uh, and then uh, about two minutes into the flight, uh, the uh, solid rocket booster motor engines will expend their fuel and they will uh, uh, detach from the core stage, uh, splash down in the Pacific, uh, cor correction, the Atlantic. So on our way to the moon, um, like I said, we'll be doing a, a, a series of these outbound trajectory corrections. They're very small, uh, or at least they're designed to be small. If we end up having dispersions because a burn didn't go as planned, then we'll make it up in a, in a subsequent burn. Uh, I think we have, a, we have four of those on the way to the moon. And those all set us up for what I said is the outbound powered flyby. That's the big burn that will we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, actually move Orion, then it'll send it up to uh, the distant retrograde orbit. So when we do that burn and we go by the, by the moon, we're gonna be about 60 miles off the surface of the, of the, of the moon. It's gonna be spectacular. So made up of three main modules, uh, the crew module, the launch abort system, and the service module. So um, you've heard the crew module also referred to as the command module. That's that silver capsule there in the center. Um, the silver s surfaces you see are our back shells. Um, it's made of about 1,300 silica tiles, very similar to what we flew on the bottom of the shuttle during the shuttle days. So we won't be flying crew. We'll be flying some mannequins and some torsos that are simulated human tissue and organs that are looking at radiation protection, radiation environment, the acceleration of the, the vehicle, and how that affects the human body, because our goal is for the crewed flight on Artemis II.